okay this is um, this is this is gonna be a video series on how to color and um, the, the character I'm coloring today is gonna be orange from PG Random uh, this right here is the resolution the length and width and whatever the height and width that I use um, the bigger the resolution the more area you have to draw the more clear it's gonna be and the color I use the uh, the brush tool not the pen tool the pen tool I used to do all the inking already the inking is already done the character everything so this is just gonna be about coloring so first of all we just set up like a background color so I can know if I missed any spots so just use a color that I'm not gonna use in the character usually I use green because green is not really used and then I open up new layers and I get the magic tool the magic wand tool and I fill in the areas that I'm gonna color in and if it goes everywhere that means that my that my transparency difference is a little, uh, too high so I set it down then everything will be alright right now I'm gonna be setting I'm gonna be doing coloring just the skin so I'm getting all the skin uh, marked off with the magic wand tool right now the magic wand tool and the uh, select pin okay looks like I got everything taken care of now I just gotta take care of the small parts that didn't get uh... that didn't get fully uh... selected and the select pin helped with that make sure I get everything and now I go into the layer the layer uh... The layer that I want the, the skin to be in, and I get I selected uh, orange's skin. I already have it in my template, so and then I just fill in all the areas that I selected with the pink bucket. I just fill it in. This is gonna be the base color. And I missed a spot over here, so I'll get the magic wand tool and just select those, and get the select pen and select the area that I didn't get yet, and then I get the color. And I put it in. Now we're going to be doing the shading. So I need to add. I need to add another layer. So I can put a layer on top of this this uh, base color. And this is and the, those are just is the same tool dimensions that I have with the paintbrush all the time. And so I just uh, start striking where the shadow should be. Don't want to have too many shadows in different places. You want to have a light source or something. Uh, they're, they're just simple strokes. that kind of replicate uh, the hair and everything that's in front of it. And I usually do a shadow underneath the eye and then it goes along the cheek and then go down to the chin area and then the neck. The neck is usually, d depending where the head's positioned, the neck is covered by shadows. And then you just put shadows where you think they should be. And because this is on a separate layer, as the as the, um, as the base color is not going to mix in with anything else, this is going to be its own layer. So if you mess up, you can just erase. You can just erase the whole layer if you want, or you just erase part of this layer. And once I get done with all the shadowing of, of everything, I, I go on to the next layer, and to the next layer of the skin, which would probably be the blush. Look like it be the blush color.
Okay, now I do made another layer for the blush, for the blush, and I just put it where blush should be, you know. It doesn't really matter if I do it messy or anything, so it's gonna blur it. So then you add it there, and then you go to the blur tool, and those are the settings that I use right there. And then you just go like a circular motion around it. You don't want to blur the entire thing completely. You want to just get the edges, not the not the middle of it. So now that that's set in. We'll just add uh, shine highlights by using white. I gotta make sure that I'm on the brush tool first. Just put shines where it should be. And then I fill in the white areas of the eyes with white, but for some reason I was using this, I was using like a pinkish color the entire time. So now I just fill, now I just change the white, now I fill everything with white. Since this is like the, the topmost layers, this is going to be on top of everything. That's why I use, that's why I usually use white as the last layer that I do, because it's on top of everything. You just put the white of the eyes where you think they should be. And since I wasn't using white the entire time, I gotta change these things. I gotta change all the shines that I already did. Like if I mess up and then like it, dis it like disappears like right afterwards, that's because I press um, Control and Z. That's the the shortcut for undo. Okay, now I'll continue on with the white with the eyes. stuff that I messed up on. And that's pretty much it. That that's pretty much it for the skin anyway. The skin is usually consists of the, the base and then the then the shading and then the, the blush and then the white. And that's like I just that's just four layers of color so everything's taken care of with the skin. Just checking to see if there's any holes in it. I'm just gonna do the mouth just to, just to do it, just to get rid of it, just to get get it done. You just put, you know, pink in there and then you just add like a shadow in, into it. And then I just take care of the teeth. It's just gonna be white. And there you have it. The skin and the mouth is done. It's gonna combine all these layers together, so there won't be too many layer confusion. All right. Now we're gonna move on to the eyes next. <laughs> 